So this is the start of row four. I've chained one. And for this row, in order for the clusters to land in between the previous ones, like a brick pattern, this time we need to start with a cluster. So straight into a double crochet, followed by our modified bobble. One more. And lastly, in the same stitch, another double. This will all pull back into place on your following row. We then go straight into three single crochets. One, two, three. And your next bobble will land nicely in the middle of the previous two. Sorry, your next bobble cluster. It's confusing. So first double crochet, your modified bobble into the same stitch till you have five on the hook and your last stitch which is the double crochet into that same. So there's your nice bobble and then you have one, two, three single crochet and your next bobble landing nicely in the middle there. I'll finish this row for you and help you with the decreasing. Okay, so I've um, finished that row. So I've done my one, two, three, four rows and I'm up to row five. So while I show you another half double crochet row, I'll just let you know that when you've finished increasing for the sleeve, you'll then start to do your double decreases on every, on top of every single bobble cluster. So at the moment we're only doing one decrease on each end cluster so that we can increase. It's a little bit confusing. When we stop increasing for the sleeve, you'll then need to do two. So I'll start here with, with one half double crochet and then one more. This is on row five. So we've done two half double crochets. Then we're going to do one decrease followed by two half double crochets, one in each stitch. Then you're ready to do your first set of two decreases over the top of your cluster to draw it back into shape and to make up for the extra stitches we did. So two half doubles in between, one in each stitch in between, then your first decrease so your first half double crochet two together, then your second decrease, and back in to two half doubles, and then your double decrease again. So you double decrease, two half double crochets, double decrease, two double crochets, one decrease and then you'll finish off with two half double crochets. The only exception to the rule is where in order to put in the correct amount of clusters I might on the pattern you'll find instead of three singles between bobbles you might see two and that's merely merely so that when you fold and sew together your cluster your sleeve sorry you don't end up with big gaps between the bobbles when this happens your following row you'll have only one half double crochet in between your clusters to make up for it 
because of the fact that you've got three singles between the clusters on top you'll end up with only one as opposed to two.